Alright, this is going to be one of my first unboxing product reviews. I bought a few things that were on sale from Iron Mountain Armory, which is a vendor that I've purchased from before. Um, I've not been paid anything for this. They didn't send me anything for free or any of that, so uh, no paid sponsorship or anything. Should be a few pairs of socks, uh, a couple straw sandals in here. I believe a helmet crest and a few other things. I ordered a number of things from them that came in a few shipments, so I'm not sure offhand exactly what's in here. Well, let's find out. I think this may have the dragon helmet crest that I was looking forward to. So, first up, these are Kayahan. I may be slaughtering the pronunciation on that. Basically, these go uh, over your shins so that you can wear them underneath of the plate armor for that to make it a little bit more comfortable. I picked these up since they were crimson and I have a crimson set of armor. So, look like they're good quality. A little bit padded for that, so that should definitely make that a little bit more comfortable than steel over top of just some raw fabric. Uh, this is a ponytail for the top of the helmet. There's a hole called the Tehen, T-E-H-E-N. That's where the samurai would often pass their top knot through. So I'm going to be using this as one of the helmets that I have for that. This would be the socks. Probably sounds crazy that I bought socks, but these are the special Tabai socks, or Tabby, I'm not sure how you say that either. But they're essentially split toes here. So I'm going to open this one up real quick. So these are designed to wear with the sandal, so you can see they have the split toe. It'll be a little bit more comfortable than walking around barefoot on sandals. And speaking of sandals, Here's one of the two pairs of straw sandals that I got. <coughs> Excuse me. These are typical um, Japanese straw sandals for that. They go over the back of the foot. They kind of arch up like this. Toes would hang over the front a little bit here. I'll be showing them in detail a little bit later on once I cover some in-depth armor videos. All right. Second pair of sandals, excellent. And also, kogake, or, do that without the bag, kogake, which are armored pieces for the shoes here. They are similar to the European equivalent of sabatons. So you can see they're still set up for the split toe design here. And these will actually go over top of my feet and on the sandals there to help cover the top of the feet. And they wrap around the back and tie here, which is pretty cool. I've uh, never had a pair of these before, so that should be pretty neat. They look like they articulate pretty well. They're hinged, which may seem a little bit uh, modern for that, but I've actually seen some museum pieces that are actual original pieces that do have this little type of hinge piece to them. So, that's very nice. Um, fabric line, keep from rubbing on the feet, that's good. Paint quality is good. So. Even got a little curled lip here on the edge. Keep it from digging into the edge of your feet if the edge of the plate was just straight ahead like that. So this helps it sit a little bit more friendly. Um, I know that from some of my experience with European armor. So awesome, awesome. Yeah, these are going to be nice. They're going to be going with the set of custom arm armor that I ordered. Um, yeah, so that's... Sandals, socks, a tehen for the ponytail, kaihan for the shins, kogake for the feet, and again, I'll be covering these a little bit more in detail as I do some of the specific videos for that, but wanted to get this first unboxing out of the way and start opening a few things. Next up is going to be the swords.